Dr. Bahara Gadaki, and I'm the Medical Director of Infection Prevention and Control, and I'm also an infectious disease physician here at Niagara Health. So we're actually here to tell you about a very exciting project that we're trialing here at St. Catherine's Hospital to promote the awareness of uh, patient equipment cleanliness and really try to identify opportunities for improvement. And this is really all in the hopes to help um, uh, decrease the uh, acquisition and transmission of hospital acquired infections in the hospital. So we're talking about MRSA, VRE, and C. difficile infection. With your help, we can add evidence uh, to an area where little evidence is currently available. Hi, my name is Christine Salib, and I'm Vanessa Servin, and we are fourth year IQIP students from Brock University. We're currently doing an infection control project here at the St. Catharines General Hospital. From our audit and observation, we've identified a two-minute window of opportunity where cross-patient contamination can be reduced. This video will outline the cleaning protocol for four pieces of patient care equipment according to the hospital's infection prevention and control guidelines. These include pulse oximeters, thermometers, blood pressure cuffs, and stethoscopes. Before entering the patient room, be sure to perform hand hygiene. Then, putting gloves on, clean each piece of equipment following the hospital's patient care equipment cleaning protocol. Taking a PCS 5000 wipe, be sure to apply rigorous pressure when cleaning both the inside and the outside of the pulse oximeter. When using pulse oximeter finger covers, as seen in this video, be sure that the patient performs hand hygiene. Then, taking a finger cover, place it on the patient's finger. Next, insert the pulse oximeter onto the patient's finger. Please note to wear gloves during this step if you are going to be in contact with blood or bodily fluids. After cleaning each piece of patient care equipment, be sure to remove gloves and perform proper hand hygiene. To clean the thermometer probes, first apply gloves then grabbing a PCS 5000 wipe, use it to clean the thermometer probe as well as the inside and the outside of the cradle using another PCS 5000 wipe. When finished, be sure to dispose gloves and perform hand hygiene. To clean the blood pressure cuff, first put on gloves, then taking a PCS 5000 wipe, apply rigorous pressure to cleaning the inside of the blood pressure cuff. Next, taking another PCS 5000 wipe, clean the outside surface of the blood pressure cuff, being sure to apply rigorous pressure. When finished, be sure to dispose gloves and perform hand hygiene. Lastly, when cleaning a stethoscope, put on gloves and taking a PCS 5000 wipe, be sure to apply rigorous pressure to both the diaphragm and the bowel of the stethoscope. This should be done in between patients to reduce cross-patient contamination. When finished, be sure to dispose gloves and perform hand hygiene. This video is brought to you by Christine Salib and Vanessa Servin as part of the Interprofessional Quality Improvement Program at Brock University. Thanks for watching. This video was made in collaboration with the iQuip program at Brock University and Niagara Health.